Good morning. A mission board was meeting to uh, examine potential missionary candidates. And uh, the, they were now at the last candidate they were going to interview. And the chairman of the board said, I'd like to read you a telegram I received the other day from a professor at the, play, at the university where this lady went to school. And, the, and she said, be sure to ask her, him the, her the question, do you believe that Jesus Christ died to save us from our sins? And he said, she, he said I, I, that, I don't understand that. And with that, well, somebody said, well, if she doesn't believe that Jesus died for our sins, she'll never be a missionary candidate with this board. And there were a dozen amen. Well, into this hostile atmosphere, the young lady came. And uh, when she got seated in a very quiet and controlled voice, the chairman said, "We have the first question we want to ask you is, do you believe that Jesus Christ died to save us from our sins? And the, the answer just completely floored them. She said, yes, I believe that Jesus Christ died to save us from our sins. And I believe that he expects that there will people be people in, in that live today who will die so that other people can be saved from their sin. And I'm willing to die on the mission field in order to help somebody find what I believe is salvation. Wow. To have the feeling that you're willing to die for what you believe. That's a conviction, whatever you think. That's a conviction we all need. Be open and committed to our belief system to such a degree that we're willing to die for it. I wish I had that kind of commitment, and I believe that many of you do the same. I'm going to offer just a short prayer this morning. Lord, help us to find a way to really commit ourselves, to be to truly believe what we are truly to practice and be willing to die for what we believe. In your name I pray. Amen.